Say good morning. Hey, say good morning. Be nice. Good enough. We are leaving home. There's someone coming to view my home in about a half hour with the realtor. Kind of nervous and sad about that. The house is perfectly all nice and clean. I just washed the floors before I left, so it smells so lemony fresh. So, yeah, it's a sad day, but at the same time, exciting, you know? Selling my first house, if you don't know what I'm talking about. If the people today like it and buy it, whatever the chances of that are, the, for the first people to see it to buy it, well, then that's, uh, that's a sale. And I gotta go find somewhere else to live. All the places I've looked at are like way far away from the city, which is sort of what I want. Well, actually it is what I want. I live out in the country, away from people, middle of nowhere, total privacy. Lots of room for diesel to run around. I'll miss the convenience of being close to the city. I'll get used to it. I'll get used to it. Hey, if I don't like it, I'll just move again. How about that? couple of years do it all over again oh so we're on our way to North Carolina but technically right now we're on our way to the truck once we get moved back into the truck it'll take a little while then we're going into the city of Winnipeg gonna go pick up our load and that's going to North Carolina our first drop is Monday morning Lexington North Carolina two days drive away so all day today all day tomorrow and we'll be there and ready Monday morning. Hey, Diesel! Where are you? Oh, good boy, you're laying down. Good boy. Didn't even have to tell him. Well, Diesel, how you feeling? Did you miss the truck? I missed the truck. I did. Oh, I'm so happy to be here, man. It's been so long. I thought we forgot about it. I can never forget about the truck, boy. Neither of us can eat without this truck. Did you know that? This truck means food in our bellies. You don't understand one bit, do you? You understand that, though. Yeah, you're a good boy. Yeah, so we're gonna go get our trailer now, people. We're gonna stop at Timmy's on the way. You know, that is so strange. All of the stresses of this week all of this stress over selling the house, where am I gonna live next? How am I gonna move? How am I gonna have time to pack? I gotta go to Seattle in August. What if I gotta move? I gotta pack and get all this stuff into storage and then I gotta get it from storage into my new house once I find my new house, but I haven't found my new house yet. Oh, you know all of that stress? Gone. Soon as I'm on the highway behind this wheel, gone. This is the world's greatest stress relief right here. Hey Diesel, big old truck. We're gonna go to Kentucky. We're gonna forget about this mess for a while. Unless if the person buys the house, they're looking at it right now, I think. Yes, right now, they will be inside my house. It's kind of creepy if you think about it, eh? Got some stranger in my house sniffing around right now. That's weird. But at least the realtor is there. He's a good guy. And he'll lock up after. But, uh, yeah, so if they decide they want to buy it, well then, I'm going to try to make possession date for September 1st because that'll give me enough time to get everything done. But, whatever. Right now, who cares? We're driving our truck, and it's stress-free. So good to be back on the road. Well, we've got our new trailer. When I say new, I mean new. This is a brand spanking shiny new trailer. Really, I had to check the insurance just to see what year it is. The, the trailer I'm pulling is a 2015. It's 2014 right now. This is a trailer from the future. It's so new. It's gonna look good. I'm gonna have to wash my truck now so my truck doesn't look so bad in front of it. Well, we're in St. Norbert on our way down to uh, the states apparently the farmers markets in town look at this look on the left there all the people all buying stuff it's 
spending money. I think this is an annual thing. Most people were waving at me. They're friendly buyers. Hello, friendly buyers. I don't know if they knew who I was or not, but probably not. Probably waving a diesel. Diesel gets all the waves. Diesel gets all the girls. Hey, Diesel. All the girls love you. What a busy place. Jeez, I almost feel like we should have stopped and bought something. But we can't take anything over the border. No fresh fruits or vegetables over the border. Uh-uh. They don't like that there. Okay, so now we're leaving the boundaries of Winnipeg, Manitoba, on our way down. Kentucky. Remember that Morris Stampede I was showing you guys about a little while ago? It's on right now here in Morris. We got a whole pile of stuff going on here. Look at that. Rodeos, horse races, amusement park rides, cowboys and cowgirls. is a little more interesting if you ask me very nice man that just sneaks up on you one of these years I want to go I've never gone yet but looks like it's fun anyways we're headed to Kentucky all these people are stuck here watching horses I'm going to Kentucky why am I in this lane let's go in that lane that lane's better get in the right lane trucker -truck. I hear you I'm listening Cool. So now we're just a hop, skip, and a jump. We'll be in the United States of America. The great nation of America. The United States. Pardon me. The United States of America. Guess I should get my ID ready. Gonna be crossing into the United States. Where is it? There it is. Get my paperwork ready. Looks like we won't even have to really wait. Or is there only one lane open? Ah, there's only one lane open, of course. Why well, have two open if you don't need to, right? Okay, so I got everything ready here. I'll see you guys on the other side. I think we're coming near Minneapolis, I think. I can't show you out the window right now, it's all full of bugs, sorry. Bugs, bugs. You guys see that picture I posted on Facebook and Twitter of my motorcycle helmet? That's what I'm talking about, bugs, bugs. Bugs are everywhere. As soon as the, as soon as the sun starts to go down, the bugs come out to play. So, I'm really hoping to be able to get my drive tires replaced very soon. I'm really hoping that's going to fix that little shake that I've left. It's almost gone. It's not nearly as bad as it used to be, which is strange, right? But hopefully that'll fix it. If not, I'll start replacing the camber bearing and uh, the king pins and whatnot. We'll see what happens, but so far it's manageable. I've been waiting to replace the drives because it costs about $4,500 to replace all eight tires. So it's a little expensive. A little expensive, but it's part of doing business. These trucks aren't cheap. Nothing about them is cheap, actually. Nothing. Some of the parts are a little cheap, but uh, fixing those cheap parts isn't very cheap, if that makes sense. That's why it costs so much to buy groceries and fuel and everything you have in your everyday life. Everything keeps going up because it costs so much money to get that product to you, right? It costs so much in the trucking side of things. Fuel, four to six hundred dollars a day, easy, on a big full day. Maintenance and truck parts and tires, like $5,000 in tires all around the truck. 
those need to be replaced once a year depending on your tire truck obviously but usually about, well, about once a year so if you're ever wondering when you're at the grocery store why are these groceries so expensive it's just the way it works the drive has been really nice today though uneventful nobody getting in my way four lanes so I can pass all the slow people I know the fast people can pass me. Typical day of driving in the States. Nice four lane interstate. For the most part, they're nice and smooth. It's good to be in the States again. Good to be here. Well, we're here in Minneapolis once again, once again. Minneapolis, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Don't forget St. Paul's here too. Twin cities, two cities in one. I'm going around the north side right now on uh, I-694. I cleaned the window off once already, and the bugs just came back, so whatever. Life in the north, I guess, summertime. driving like the same sort of route on the other side of the border in Canada like we're headed east right now right remember last week uh, we went east through Canada through northern Ontario remember that two-lane road isn't this a lot nicer it's very nice very nice nice freeway interstates oh I love this they know how to build road systems. They know how to do it. And I'm not afraid to admit, we don't know how to make roads up there. I, I think I do, personally I think I do, but whoever's in charge sure doesn't know. Sorry, don't mean to offend anybody, but we all know it's true. So I'm hoping to get to Black River Falls tonight. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Look at another three hours. Two and a half to three hours. I think I could do it. I think so. We'll see. I guess we'll find out. Oh, buddy, buddy, slow down. Oh, man, that guy was tailgating me so close. I didn't even, I forgot he was back there. Then he just blew past me. I'm doing the speed limit right now. I can't get in the right lane because there's a car right beside me in the right lane. He likes to, oh now he's speeding up, okay. <laughs> a little late. Now that truck was flying, eh? He had to have been doing 70, 75 mile an hour through the city. It's 60 here. You know, that's one of my biggest pet peeves. Well, he's gonna do it again, no patience. And now I can move back into that lane. He's gonna go around there again in the wrong lane. Trucks aren't allowed in the left lane unless it's different in Minneapolis. But uh, what bothers me the most is seeing quote, quote unquote professional drivers driving unprofessionally. Drives me up the wall. See, I shouldn't have been in this lane anyways. It's an exit lane. Like if you're driving a big rig and you got a CDL commercial professional driver's license, better be driving like one of them professional drivers. I don't know who's handing out these CDLs and cereal boxes, but I think they should stop because it's getting kind of crazy. All right, guys, so we did make it to our goal of Black River Falls, Wisconsin today. 10 hours of driving. Felt like it went like that. Can't snap with my left hand. Just like that, all right. How many of you can snap with both hands? How many of you can only snap with one hand? Just curious, random, pointless question. Let me know in the comments. Talk about it, start a discussion, converse. Feel free, that's what the comment section is for. Speak your mind. Give me your best shot. So this is the part of the day where I say, go down below to the description, eh? And check out all the stuff that I got there. Uh, I got links and stuff and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Diesel has his own Facebook. Have you guys gone to his Facebook already? I've asked you twice now to go to his Facebook and like his page. 
The link is right down below. It's real easy. I'm not even giving myself shout outs here. I'm just trying to get my dog some love here. Right, Diesel? Does anyone even like me, man? They don't like me. You got more likes than any dog I know, just so you know. You, you are, you, you're something, Diesel. You, you are something. Hi. Okay, if you say so. Yes. So, end of the day is here. We're just getting back in the swing of things like I was talking about. First day back on the road. I'm expecting to be gone for, for at least a week, maybe two. Uh, until close to Vlogger Fair, then I'll be headed home and I'm going to be taking my car out to Seattle, most likely. Uh, a lot of you are like, Chuck Josh, why don't you take your truck? You got beds right there. Well, I want to get away from work for a while, right? This last week wasn't really a holiday for me. It was just oh, rushing around, getting stuff done, getting stuff done. And I haven't taken time off in years just to go somewhere away from work and just do something non-work related, right? other than like within my little local area. So I want to go somewhere and get away from work for a little while. That's just for a few days, really. Uh, it's not going to be that long. But we'll see what happens. There's a lot of time before then, now and then. Uh, Diesel's all up to date on his diesel shots. He's all ready for the doggy daycare out there. He's going to have fun. He's going to make meet some friends. <coughs> Excuse me. Going to meet some friends. Wouldn't that be cool if... Shaytards brought Zeke, and you can meet Zeke there, huh? Ah, they won't. He's got a huge acreage in Idaho to run around in. That'd be pretty cool if I could leave you at the Shaytards house and you could play with Zeke the whole time I was at Vlogger Fair. That'd be cool. Wouldn't you like that? Yeah, or a little tail wag. Yeah? You like Zeke, don't you? You mean tail wag? Are you a good boy? Well, that's pretty weak, man. You're not going to convince them by, by that, man. you got to show a little more enthusiasm. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so I'll see you tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time, just like every other day. We're going to continue our journey tomorrow night. We're going to be in Lexington, Kentucky. But in the morning, I'm hoping to wake up in this exact same spot I'm in right now. I'll see you then.